Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus, and I got you an update on your severe weather, not only for today, for the rest of the week, what is coming also with that next storm, because we have a severe weather risk for that as well. And it actually has gotten into a worst case scenario. Now, diving right in with your new information, you can see you have your enhanced section for today, and you can see you do have significant tornadoes expected for today, and this is going to carry in for tomorrow and I will go through your storm cells. So if you're in this region right here, they're expecting EF2 or greater tornadoes chances for today. It is going to be stronger for tomorrow. Plus significant hail. If you're in any of this region for today, you're expecting at least two inches, maybe three inches in diameter hailstones coming down. So just be aware for that as well. Now there's multiple threats, but trying to give you a timing on what's going on. You can see your chances for your tornadoes today and the darker the color to higher the risk. And you can see it's going to be actually two chances in this area. So as you go through the evening, right when you get around 1 p.m., you're going to start getting these supercells, all these nasty hail cores moving through and chances for tornadoes to pop out of that all the way to three and four o'clock. Remember, I will do an update this afternoon. Make sure you click that bell showing that the hail cores will get bigger and stronger as you go five and six o'clock look how this is carrying all the way across into louisiana this is where it's starting to get dangerous on these storm cells as you go six and seven o'clock you see it starts moving through all the way till 10 o'clock at night that's where you're going to start having issues with you as well let me go through this portion first because you can see also for tomorrow as you go overnight into the early morning hours you still got these storms that's going to brew up and come all the way across Texas. And these are going to be strong all the way till 3 o'clock in the morning. Overnight storms bring you all this hail plus what's coming across. First, let's go through Texas. And you see that does push through also all morning long bringing strong storms. Chances for tornadoes also and all this hail. This is where it's going to grow into a bigger tornado threat as we go today, especially into tomorrow. Then after that, it's really going to start ramping up tomorrow for hurricane winds all the way towards thursday so it is going to start getting stronger on that area after this now look at this at six o'clock tomorrow morning a big bowing out you got some strong winds pushing through but look at all these hail cores and that in the black is definitely some very large hail pushing through that is at six o'clock tomorrow morning as you keep going through see it pushes into louisiana all these hail cores seven o'clock tomorrow morning while you're sleeping, 8 o'clock, look at the hail course and look at the bowing out in that. That is a nasty line of storms, plus hurricane winds is coming with this. As you go all the way to 9 and 10 o'clock, it's still pushing through and starting to go into Mississippi now for tomorrow. This is for tomorrow's storms. Look how it keeps pushing through all these storms for tomorrow. So that's what you have for today for Texas. You got those two rounds of storms that's going to be coming through, giving you the chances for those tornadoes. It's going to come around again early in the morning. You do have the storms coming through DFW, going to northern Louisiana, southern Arkansas. That is not going to be a higher risk than what you have over here in this section. This is where your tornado risk is going to be. Now for tomorrow, you have your chances for tornadoes, and it has grown. You have chances for EF2 or EF3 or greater tornadoes right in this blinking section right here this is your highest risk for tornadoes now you do get some storm cells that move through for tonight for northern louisiana you even get some hail cores even going into mississippi as well all the way until 10 o'clock tonight but this is not your main event that's going to stick around all the way to midnight one o'clock in the morning definitely by alexandra all the way towards jackson but then when you get that nasty line of hail coming through that's coming from texas all the way for tomorrow morning this is going to bow out and come into louisiana come into mississippi and bring all these hail cores of these storms and bring chances for tornadoes maybe embedded cell somewheres in there as you go all the way till three o'clock tomorrow afternoon as it moves across mississippi covering all of mississippi everybody is going to feel some part of this storm and look how it moves through for tomorrow evening and starts going across alabama still have that nasty hail of course we've got a nasty bowing out in that as that continues to move on across and we do have severe weather risk for that as well on our day three that's the one that's going all the way up towards ohio towards kentucky this is for thursday this is where your severe weather is going to start kicking off even more can't quite see that far just yet, but this is ramping up your winds as well on the southern side. I will show you. Remember, I will show you in the update this afternoon. We should be able to see more of this. 
So not only your chances for your tornadoes, but your significant tornadoes. It is going from Louisiana into Mississippi, into Alabama, into the panhandle of Florida. Chances of at least EF2 or EF3 strength. I will show you. It's a very dangerous event. Matter of fact, this is a worst case scenario unfolding everybody. And it also have significant winds. Chances for hurricane force winds. So I will go through the information for you so you know exactly what to expect. Thank you for visiting me today, everybody. Hope everybody's okay from yesterday. There was no tornadoes reported yesterday. It wasn't supposed to. It was just supposed to be a lot of hail. Now you can see these storms are going to flurry further and further into the north. It's going to go into southern Arkansas. It's going to go into northern Mississippi. And it's also going to carry over for tomorrow and go towards Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, even northern Alabama. So these storms are going to raise up further and further. But the really severe side is going to be on the southern side of these storms. But let me show you the latest information because not only the hail cores, not only the chances for tornadoes, the damage and winds are a threat as well. Now you see all day long for today, you do get a lot of the winds coming through. You get some 50 miles per hour wind gusts, even get a nice little lawn trail over here for Texas, northeastern Texas, southeastern Oklahoma getting 50 and 60, and a little bit of northern Mississippi and some of Tennessee. But as you go overnight, then into the morning, you got more trails of 50 miles per hour wind gusts, even 60. Matter of fact, HRRR is picking up a very strong cell coming through around 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. That is showing 100 miles per hour on that. Take that with a grain of salt, but we need to watch this area. It's showing some strength on that. As that goes all the way for Louisiana, Mississippi, then you get those stronger winds aloft like I've been showing you all day after day. And it gets stronger and stronger once you go into that Wednesday event. And the Thursday event is going to carry on as well all the way to the northeast. Showing anywhere from 50 to 60, even getting 70 miles per hour wind gusts in there. Matter of fact, the strongest shows that it will be as it transfers from Louisiana into Mississippi. Damaging wind gusts up to 80 miles per hour in the moderate section. If you're an enhanced risk, up to 70 miles per hour. And the slight risk is up to 60 miles per hour. But here's your timing of these storms moving through from 8 to 12, 11 a.m. through 4 p.m. And then from 1 p.m. through 7 p.m. Showing helicity tracks all the way to later tonight. So it's very strong from the panhandle of Texas going towards Oklahoma. Also for central Texas and eastern Texas going into northern Louisiana. Very strong cells pushing through. And as you go overnight, early in the morning, then again for tomorrow... More storms with all this hail dropping down. Please be careful. And the flooding has gotten worse. Look at this. All the way to Wednesday morning, then going to Wednesday afternoon. A big hot pocket for very heavy rainfall. Still showing over 10 inches of rainfall. And so far is showing mostly for Louisiana. It is going into Mississippi as well. But look at this for Louisiana. All this heavy rainfall that's coming down. And still showing the Euros. It's going to go up on that high ridge towards the Great Lakes. And a little bit towards the southeast and the Carolinas. With some heavy rainfall for the rest of the week. And your flood risk has grown as well. So for today, you do have the big marginal, but you got this big moderate section for heavy flooding. It's going to be for tomorrow as well. And you got this slight risk going all the way into New Mexico, going all the way into Tennessee and Kentucky. For tomorrow, this is going to grow and move over to southeast. You got the big marginal, but now you got the big slight risk going all the way from the south towards the southeast and your moderate level is going into Alabama and a little bit of Mississippi as well. Now as you go into Thursday, this is where it moves over towards the northeast. You still get the marginal all the way to the northeast, but the slight risk has grown all the way from the Carolinas all the way into New York. And that is for Thursday. And then you have for Friday as well. You still have it for New England. And remember, after we deal with this storm, we got the next one that's coming in for Monday and maybe something for Tuesday. So remember, we still got that next storm system coming. We've been following this for a few days. If you haven't heard about this, make sure you subscribe. And you can see here, it is a 15% day seven risk. So here's your cities and states at risk so far. This will grow. Now, my main focus is to make sure people are weather aware. So I'm going to go through your cities and who's at risk for today. You do have your tornadoes. You have your 2%, your 5%. You also got your 10%, but you got your significant severe in the black. That's at least EF2 or greater strength expected. Here's your cities and states at risk for the tornado threat for today. You also have the wind threat for today. And this is where it kicks in that marginal for Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. 
Plus, you have the 15% and the 30% where the highest risk is, and that's where your tornado risk is also. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for today. Plus, your hail threat for today. This does include Ohio, Pennsylvania, and western New York as well. But not only the 5%, you got the 15%, the 30%, which is the highest risk, plus a significant severe in the black, at least two inches in diameter, golf balls. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and hail for today. And significant severe is the white line on top. National Weather Service has severe thunderstorms are forecast today across much of Texas into the lower Mississippi River Valley. Several tornadoes, a couple of which could be strong, significant large hail and damage and winds are expected. Now let's go into tomorrow. This does include your moderate section. Remember that moderate section is going to be for tornadoes, but mostly for your damage and winds. Now you can see for your tornadoes, you got 2%, the 5%, you got 10% in the yellow, you got the 15% in the red. Plus, it's significant severe in the black. It's at least EF2 or EF3 strength for this section. So here's your cities and states at risk for tornadoes for Wednesday. And significant severe is the white line on top. Plus, your wind threat for Wednesday. This is where you got the hurricane force winds expected in that pink section. Plus, significant severe in this black where you can get at least hurricane force winds of damage. Plus, you have the 30%, the 15%, and the 5%. So here's your cities and states at risk for the damage and winds for Wednesday. Your hurricane force winds is that white and pink line on top. Plus, your hail threat for tomorrow is going to be there as well. It's not as large as what we just had, but it's still going to be a big threat. Here's your cities and states at risk. And National Weather Service says numerous to widespread severe thunderstorms are probable beginning Wednesday morning across parts of the central Gulf Coast states. These will include potential for both many tornadoes, some of which should be strong, EF2, EF3 caliber, and widespread damage and wind swath with embedded significant severe gust. And then Thursday, as we get that severe weather going up towards Ohio and Kentucky, we have it for the southeast as well. Here's your cities and states at risk. And still showing that the best place to get a damage and wind or embedded tornado threat will be late in the morning and early in the afternoon for the southern side of that threat. So it will go as it goes from Florida into Georgia and maybe some of Carolina. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. Hope you have a great day today. Please prepare for these storms coming through. Make sure there's nothing in your yard. That could be projectiles towards your neighbors or even yourself. Make sure you check on your neighbors. Make sure you check on your pets. Make sure everybody will be safe as you go through this event. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Hope you have a very blessed day today. And before you go real quick, a little strong words of encouragement. Psalm 71, 1 through 5. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O Lord God. Thou art my trust from my youth. Amen. Hope you have a great day today, everybody. I will give you an update this afternoon. That way you know what has changed and what the new placement of these storms will be. And remember, no matter what, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and he will always keep you safe every single day of your life. Believe that in your heart. He loves you just like a father loves a child. He will not put you to harm. He will not give you a rock when you ask for bread. All glory goes to Yahweh. Now and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God, that we have you on our side. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.